friends welcome back to the Canada info Hub channel my name is Wolo I live in Winnipeg Manitoba and I love 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 to talk about life in Canada and immigrating to Canada how are you guys doing I think one of these days I should come on live I know a lot of people have been asking about me coming on live and so many questions I'm supposed to answer so many emails I have received which I have tried to respond to I think maybe if I come on live and spend one hour chatting with you guys I'll be able to respond to some of these questions so if you want me to come on live please indicate in the comment section I know these days I've not actually been responding to all the people putting in comments but I'm trying because I have a lot of things that I'm doing at the moment uh, so please bear with me so maybe when I come on live I'll be able to answer those questions especially if you've seen any of my videos and you have questions concerning those videos I'll be able to answer those questions um, I'll schedule a date and I'll put it on the community notification to notify you guys on the date I'll come on live so that um, I can chat with you guys live okay so today is about immigration yes you know i love to talk about immigration and it's an update it's one of the updates that um was announced last week um and it's concerning ontario i'll give a brief background about the ontario immigration nomination program and um we all know ontario is the most populous um province in canada and uh, they have you know lots of industries and so many um how will i put it i think i'll just say industries they have lots of things going for them um the tech capital of canada is also in ontario the financial capital of canada is also in ontario so you have lots of big banks the five big banks so many banks and all that so that's why a lot of people actually go to ontario instead of you know immigrating to these smaller provinces ontario is more or less swallowing a lot of immigrants because of the opportunities when it comes to jobs that they have there so ontario has like nine immigration pathway uh, which i will be showing you their details and you will see it on the screen they have the in-demand skills pathway that requires a job offer they have a pathway for um international students which is closed they also have a pathway for foreign workers which is closed it goes with a job offer as well they also have a phd stream which is currently running they have a master's graduate stream which is closed they have the human capital pathway which i'll talk about later they also have the french stream they have the skilled trade stream and they also have the entrepreneurial stream they also have the regional immigration pilot which i recently did when they opened i talked about it so there's demand for people in ontario but it is quite competitive to get an ontario provincial nomination uh, what they used to do before especially for the ones that has to do with the human capital pathway where you have the tech draws um you have the french speakers um, stream you have to create your express entry profile and based on your comprehensive ranking score in the express entry profile they will give you a nomination and recently the scores have actually been going high and high and high so it's quite difficult for people to actually get a provincial nomination from ontario because this course is almost the same thing as the federal express entry and sometimes some people will ask themselves is it what it's paying to get a provincial nomination from Ontario or should they just wait for the federal express entry so that's by the way anyway there is now an update um, which was announced September 8 concerning some of the streams that were closed and some of the streams that are actually open and the update is that they will now start applying through the expression of interest they will create an expression of interest where they will put in their expression and they would select people based on their points and based on the labor demand so this is why i am doing this video especially for people who plan to study in ontario if you plan to study in ontario and you are targeting getting a provincial nomination from ontario through maybe the in-demand skill stream um the Inter international student stream the um 
master's stream the phd stream if you know that you study in ontario and you are targeting any of these streams you should just have it at the back of your mind that the rules might change they've actually uh, put in they are they're actually planning to amend some of the rules concerning those streams as of today the phd stream i talked about it before when i talked about choosing a province that would be beneficial for people who are within a certain age bracket especially if they want to come to canada to study and i mentioned in that video that you can choose british columbia um ontario and manitoba if you want to do your phd and you don't want to wait for a job offer after your phd just apply for your provincial nomination straight i did a video on that so now for those who want to choose ontario to study to do their phd for those who want to choose ontario to do their phd you should know that by the end of october by the time they put in all the amendments it will no longer be as straightforward as it used to be it means that they will now be selecting people based on several criteria that they will put in place by the time they complete the amendment and put out the details so you should be aware of that so if you're already targeting to do your phd in ontario or do your masters in ontario of course the master stream had closed um for some time now and was just it just opened once in a while and it was more like fastest finger anybody who applies first first hundred or first 50 or first whatever would get um get the application submitted but now once they introduce this expression of interest it will now be based on points based on age based on several factors based on so many things so you will now have to start competing again um using the expression of interest so i just want you to be aware of that before you make up your mind to choose the province you want to um, study in canada especially if you want to choose ontario they will be introducing the expression of interest and that is what's happening to provinces like manitoba and saskatchewan so they want to join manitoba and saskatchewan uh, where people will put in their expression of interest now and based on certain scores they can get a nomination or get an invitation to submit a full application for a nomination so once ontario joins this now um of course it will become very competitive you know so that's the information there then another thing you should also know is that not all of the categories are actually going to participate in this expression of interest there are a few categories the other categories where they invite people through the express entry still um is still going to exist so the french speaking uh pathway in fact people who are bilingual they are the ones having a field day when it comes to ontario immigration they're having a field day so much that um, there is no restriction to any occupation so any occupation as long as you are bilingual and you meet a certain comprehensive ranking score let's say 440 or 450 you'll be able to get um, an invitation or a notification of interest from ontario then the human capital pathway will also not be affected by this then um there's also a third one now um the tech draws yes the tech draws will also not be affected by the expression of interest the only the ones that will be affected by the expression of interest i will show you the details on their website so that's the update that's latest canada immigration update concerning ontario provincial nomination um just keep your fingers crossed by the end of october as they announced that these amendments will take place and then um we will get to know um the new uh criteria for you know selecting people to get a nomination under the various um streams that were selected for the expression of interest so i've talked too much hope i have not talked too much anyway so please put in the comment section if you want me to do a live video and um i'll let you know about the date and thank you so much for watching please stay safe um be positive this week just believe that whatever you are praying for and wishing for will come to pass for you this week thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye